So, a lot of people have been saying that Cartoon Network and Boomerang seem to be falling really downhill in the past few years. I mean, nowhere near as great as it was in the 90s or the 2000s. The worst I've heard is recently, American Cartoon Network seems to be showing absolutely nothing but Teen Titans Go. Yeah, endless episodes of Teen Titans Go for hours and hours and hours, days on end, for many weeks without any breaks whatsoever. Never even considering the fact that most kids might not even like Teen Titans Go that much and would be begging for something else. Well, there is the occasional showing of OK KO Heroes or whatever it's called. Well... And Boomerang doesn't seem to be getting any better. Instead of showing classic shows like... Um, Hong Kong Fooey or The Flintstones or Original Tom and Jerry... Or, hell, maybe even Cartoon Network shows that they're not showing anymore, like Dexter's Lab, Ed, Ed and Eddie, or Camp Laszlo, or whatever. They seem to be just showing the same shows that Cartoon Network is showing, or the occasional um, shows from only a few years ago and not 30 years ago. Well, I'm here to see if Cartoon Network and Boomerang here in the UK is any better. To see if the UK version of Cartoon Network is doing more than just showing Teen Titans Go again and again and again and again. So, let's see. Okay. Cartoon Network. Let's start at midnight. So, we have over... We have over two hours of The Amazing World of Gumball, then 90 minutes of Uncle Grandpa, make it that what you will, an hour of regular show, already doing better than US Cartoon Network, I'll tell you that much, half an hour of Gumball, more Gumball, Teen Titans Go, one episode of regular show, one episode of We Bear Bears, more Gumball, Teen Titans Go, one episode of We Bear Bears, a Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Okay. More Gumball, oh, it's new Gumball, then a rerun of Gumball, even more Gumball, regular show, Adventure Time. Yeah, we're finally showing Adventure Time. Ninjago. Oh yeah, that's a show on Cartoon Network, isn't it? Then an episode of the shitty Ben 10 reboot. Then an episode of the shitty Powerpuff Girls reboot. Can you please give us a good reboot for once? Take a hit from DuckTales, please! Then Gumball. Gumball again. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Gumball. Ben 10 reboot. Teen Titans Go. We Bear Bears. Gumball. Okay, I take that back. We have a similar problem over here. Instead of constantly showing Teen Titans Go, it seems as though they're constantly showing the amazing world of Gumball. Not that I'm saying Gumball is bad or anything. Huh, I hardly even watch it, but I hear it's a good show if I'm most fans, but... What I'm saying is that there should be a lot more variety. I mean, in the 90s and the 2000s, we had loads of shows for kids to choose from. Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Lab, Ben 10, Teen Titans Go. No, not Teen Titans Go, the original Teen Titans, what am I saying? But here, they seem to be showing at least five shows for endless hours. Now, let's see if Boomerang's getting any better. Starting at midnight. Lazy Town. Okay... Lazy Town, two episodes, then an hour of the Garfield show, the CGI series, not the original Garfield and Friends, in case you know. Three episodes of Lazy Town, then another hour of the Garfield show, then more Lazy Town, 
more Garfield than the Tom and Jerry show, the recent one when they tried to revive it, Scooby-Doo Mystery Inc., then Be Cool Scooby-Doo, so basically an hour of Scooby-Doo, the Tom and Jerry show, and then My Night and Me, they say it's new, so... So they're not really showing classic shows anymore. Judging by this, they're still showing new shows, but on a different channel. So it's not like the glory days where they just... Where they used to watch classic Hanna-Barbera shows like Wacky Races or the Flintstones or the Jetsons. They're just showing new shows that they couldn't fit into the Cartoon Network time slot. Anyway, new Looney Tunes, which happens to be new animated shorts, which is similar to the style of the Looney Tunes show, but it's actual Looney Tunes shorts. Classic Tom and Jerry, then Tom and Jerry Tales, so 90 minutes of Tom and Jerry. What's new Scooby-Doo? Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. Another new... Another new show that they're adding into the channel. So... What's new Scooby-Doo? The Looney Tunes show? My Night and Me? Grizzly and the Lemmings? Another new show? Hmm... Looney, new Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry Tales. What's new Scooby-Doo? Classic Tom and Jerry, the same hour of Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry show. Yeah, instead of showing the classic Looney Tunes shorts, they're showing us the recent shows of the Looney Tunes. Like, right now, the Looney Tunes show, or these new animated Looney Tunes shorts. Yeah, they're not showing us classic cartoons, like in the glory days, they're showing us either new versions of these classic cartoons, like um, Scooby-Doo Mystery Inc., The Tom and Jerry Show, or The Looney Tunes Show, or they're just showing us new shows in general, like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, or My Night and Me. So, I might grant you, UK Boomerang and Cartoon Network are doing a little bit better than US Cartoon Network and Boomerang, but it's still not that good. I mean, nowhere near as good as it was in the old days. Like, these channels had loads of variety and loads of choices, so... If there's a show that a child didn't want to watch on Cartoon Network, they could just go on to Boomerang and watch a classic cartoon from the 60s. You could have the choice of either Powerpuff Girls or Wacky Races, Dexter's Lab or Hong Kong Fooey. They don't seem to do that anymore. They seem to show um, all these new shows which I grant you are not even that good, or shows that most kids don't even want to watch. Or it's just shitty reboots of great shows back then, like Teen Titans Go, Ben 10, or the Powerpuff Girls. If only we can go back to the glory days. Loads of variety, loads of great shows that had effort put into them, and... For the love of God, please bring Cartoon Network City back. It was the greatest thing ever. I mean, especially with the 25th anniversary of the channel, they must do something the tiniest bit similar, right? So... Do something about it, or just give up. All I have to say.